I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl, and like all of you, sometimes I get caught at the drive through It all looks delicious and it tastes great, but you are eating way too many calories and fat grams. But you can lighten up those fast food favorites that'll save you thousands of calories and hundreds of fat grams, and I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Starting with a Big Mac. Now, when you drive through McDonald's and you grab a Big Mac, you're talking 540 calories and 28 grams of fat. My version, the Hungry Mac Bella Stack Burger, has just around 235 calories and itty bitty two grams of fat. Instead of using beef patties, I use portobello mushrooms. They're meaty, they're delicious, they're good for you. And look how big it is. We also use light cheese and a light bun, and I found a way to lighten up that sauce using reduced fat mayo. It tastes amazing. Next up, Taco Bell's Fiesta Taco Salad with Beef. It can be 770 calories and 40 grams of fat for a salad. And this is my Hungry Girl Turkey Taco Salad. My version has under 350 calories and just 10.5 grams of fat. Now, instead of that giant greasy tortilla bowl, I'm using crushed baked chips and just sprinkling them on top. And instead of fatty, full fat ground beef, I use lean ground turkey and black beans and corn and red bell pepper and you've got all of your favorite Mexican flavors with a little bit of light sour cream and salsa on top. It is perfect. So we all love french fries, but if you go to Wendy's and you're tempted by the Baconator fries, one order is gonna cost you almost 500 calories. That's right, 500 calories and 28 grams of fat. It's all the potatoes. I absolutely recommend making this one at home with my secret swap. Instead of using potatoes, I use turnips. They're easy to work with and they taste fantastic. So I make cheesy bacon turnip fries for a fraction of the calories and fat and they give you great flavor. My entire order has 245 calories and only 9.5 grams of fat. Good to go. My final swap of the day is for KFC's Extra Crispy Chicken Tenders. Three of those babies at the drive-thru is gonna cost you 380 calories for three of those tenders and 20 grams of fat. I'm gonna show you how to make a version at home that has just 138 calories and 1.5 grams of fat. And there are two main tricks. Let's make them. Right here, this is the breadcrumb mixture that I made by putting this cereal in a blender or a food processor. And now we're gonna wanna season that up a little bit because it's slightly sweet. So I add a little salt, pepper, a little garlic powder. If you like spice, you could add cayenne. This is chicken breast that I've cut into strips. We're gonna coat that in some egg substitute. You don't need the yolks, that'll save you some fat and some calories. We cover it with our breadcrumb mixture. And you're gonna put that on a baking sheet that you have sprayed with nonstick spray. This cereal gets really crispy in the oven. You will not be able to tell the difference. You're gonna put that in a 375 degree oven, cook it for about 15 minutes, flipping halfway, and then voila, you are done. 